<sighs> Another episode. The boys are back. We are in the uh, the Gus Mobile today. It smells nice, like forest forest green. That's a uh, black ice. Black ice. With the green in it. The hints of green. But anyways, guys, today we're going to Wingfield in Dallas. You know, oh, we're gonna, in Oak Cliff, and you know our our city, our 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 hood, our hood. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to Wingfield, Dallas. So I recommend another recommendation from Gustavo. Uh, he recommended Chef Taste Buds. Obviously, I like that a lot. A lot. We will be definitely going back to try out other stuff on his menu um, for you guys to check out. Um, from this point forward, I'm just doing straight food reviews um, because honestly, it's just I like it. I get to eat some cool stuff, even though uh, me and Gus, maybe a little bit more me, especially since this is my video, I'll be wasting a little bit more money. Um, and yeah. We will maybe never get a six pack that we want from the way we're gonna about to be eating. Right about that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's gonna be occasional. It won't be consistent. Obviously, we won't be like trying to eat like ugly every day. But just for the video, you know, every once in a while, that means me and Gus have to go twice as hard in the in the in the gym. But anyways, we will see you guys at Wingfield, Dallas. All right, my guys. I didn't even know we were here for a second. I didn't even see the sign. It's like it's right there. Wingfield breakfast and burgers. But I guess you know that's an amazing place. Whenever you uh, when it's like a hole, looks like a hole in the wall place, or like there's no sign or whatever. Already see where we made fun of that actually. Uh, but all right, let's go. I guess let's go inside. Oh, yeah. I hope no one's coming out. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's small, bro. Literally, like four people in there. Only four people could fit. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It's been a while since I've been in this area. Since I made it out. It's just cool. <laughs> since what, I made it out. What are you trying out. to say? Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while, guys. Hey, one with mayo, right? Uh, I want to get it. Mayo and mustard? Yeah, it's mayo. And then the other, this one is dry. Yes, Okay. Let's go to the menu. Okay, she said she wanted mayo and mustard on the second. Okay, let me get it. I did? Right in front of them, too. Oh. It's been a while, so I've been under the hood. I love this food. Maybe no wonder they were looking at me crazy. Yeah. Sorry. I'm very whitewashed now. So. Mexican power. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I ordered just a cheeseburger, guys. No fries, because, you know, I'm trying to watch my figure. Um, but that cheeseburger was $7.90. And I saw, I didn't want to turn the video around, cause, just because, in case they trip. But I saw how big the one patty was, and I low key wasn't order a double meat. So we are gonna about to see how that comes out here in a second, just a cheeseburger, uh, and just go from there, you know? Yeah. So guys, something that me and my uh, little brother Daniel joked about when we went to Taco Casa, you know for some reason it's gonna be really, really good if it's in a white paper bag. And what's crazy is that the fact that I'm holding this before even getting it out the wrapper and it's this big is ridiculous. Freaking ridiculous. I think I have my, finally maybe met my match burger wise. What the heck? Look at this, guys. That's the thumbnail. All right, so, Gustavo has tried this before, because he knows, he's just, you know, he knows where the good food places are at. And plus him being a, he likes, he likes a, whatchamacallit. They're regular Kingo Cup fries, but put extra mayo, I hope this helps. This is a big patty. One, two, three. 
I can't have to, man. They're freshly made, too. We didn't take too long, did we? I've been waiting there like 20, 30 minutes before. I think we beat the lunch rush. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. But yeah, it didn't take us too long. The price is pretty good, especially getting a burger this big. I mean, a water burger, you'll be getting a burger this big. I've like a double meat. Minutes, yeah, Gustavo said the wait time is is a long time, depending if um, if it's super busy. I think we waited max probably like five minutes or so. But uh, yeah. Well done, Patty. If they gave me the choice, I would have asked for like a tiny bit of pink. Yep. But this is not that kind of an establishment. But full review coming up, guys, right after I finish this. Woo! Man, I had to put the hat back on because the hair wasn't ready. Anyways, guys. Man, 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 I have to give this young man so much props for always recommending the best places, but I'm gonna let him enjoy his food. Um, so we're gonna do a quick food review. Uh, as you know, it was 750 uh, in total for that cheeseburger alone. And man, was it big, like, whoa. Big like, you know, serious pizza type big, you know, equivalent, but the burger size. Stop thinking dirty. But anyways, um, Really, really good, honestly. The, even though I, it looked like it was gonna be dry, the meat was gonna be dry, uh, it was juicy. Um, the extra mayonnaise did help it. The toasted buns, I really liked that. Um, all the veggies and everything like that didn't kill the burger, you know, you, it, everything came came together good. Um, and yeah, honestly, it was just honestly just a really, really good burger. I would honestly give it, um, I would honestly give it a nine out of 10, to be honest. Um, you know, the only thing I guess the reason why I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 is just because like if it came together in a meal and I didn't have to pay for my fries separately, then it would have been just a fantastic experience overall. Because um, I mean, Gustavo let me try some of the fries and they weren't nothing super, super crazy. I feel like something they got, probably, you know, they probably could get at a supermarket and then just put them in the fryer and then put some, a lot of seasoning. But that burger, that burger for sure was made out of love you can freaking taste it but yeah nine out of ten wingfield go check them out i'll put the address here on the next screen however i do that when i'm editing uh but yeah guys thank you so much for watching if you want me to go check out well let me rephrase that if you want me and gustavo to go check out a food place since we mainly go together please for sure let us know and we'll be forever grateful for it um and yeah more food reviews to come we'll see you guys on the next video